Hey everyone, it's time to work on aggregate again. In my previous video, I did a time lapse and now I'm going to take things a little bit slower and we're going to work on improving the admin section of aggregate. And I'm doing uh, this voiceover commentary thing. It's unscripted. I don't know how it will go. It's just a tryout. So yeah, I'm going to start with uh, renaming a couple of files at first and structuring my controllers a little bit better because they were growing quite large and uh, I would appreciate a little bit more structure in my code. You might have noticed that I always make invocable controllers. I really like being able to use uh, just single action controller so that I don't need to use the array notation when referencing a route. And I also think that keeping controllers uh, small, especially in a project like this where there's only a handful of controllers, um, it makes for, for nice and clean code. So my first task here is to uh, create a separate controller to administer posts. So I already had a admin sources controller and I did all post administration uh, just in the home controller. And that meant that the home controller was growing quite large as well as the blade file. And I was mixing a lot of things to get everything working. I really didn't like that. So I'm just moving over some code here, um, extracting it away from the home controller and moving it to the admin posts controller. Doing some uh, code cleanup as well. And my first step is to just copy over all the code, but I'm going to clean it up further once I have a working admin post controller. I, I find that a little easier to uh, just extract code and get it working again and then go change it to however I like. I think that's uh, easier to reason about. So here's my blade file, the home blade file. I'm going to copy it over to admin posts and of course it's going to change quite a bit. I'm going to remove all those uh, checks for if a user is logged in or not because if we're in this controller and this view I know for sure that in fact a user is logged in and I don't need to uh, do those extra checks. Now I'm uh, cleaning up the home file, which basically is the opposite of what I just did. I'm keeping the code that's relevant for all guests browsing aggregate and throwing away everything that uh, has to do with a logged in admin user. Okay, so the home view is still working and I, when I was clicking login here, I noticed that something was wrong. Uh, so basically I'm already logged in, as you can see, but um, I'm, I'm using a check in my app.blade file to see whether I'm logged in or not, and that, that was the wrong one. I'm using has user here, and for some reason that only returns true when you actually call user on the request. Not sure what that's about, but I'm still debugging here. I'm <laughs> this, is, uh, this is me from the future uh, with a little bit more insights. So now I went over to the posts admin controller to check whether uh, that was working. But of course I still had to fix an error over there. Okay. And I didn't notice it, but this was still using the home view, but you can see the logout link is correct there. And so this is where I started to assume that um, it actually had something to do with calling user on the request. Just trying it out here. And of course I was, <laughs> I was in the wrong controller. That happens. So when I call user here, I'm actually logged in. So if I just call it, you can see there's the logout link. So for some reason, the art facade will only return true when you call the user on the request. I don't know what's going on there, but it's actually easily fixed by uh, just checking if there's a user instead of using has user. So 
I'm going to simplify that condition as well while I'm here. And now it's working again. So here we have our working home view, that's all fine. And now we can start looking at our admin posts view. Ah, yes, I also wanted to add uh, a menu over here in the same style I had on another page. I want an easy way to, uh, to go to my posts admin view and my sources admin view. And I'm going to uh, slightly change the menu structure I previously had. I'm building that uh, menu now. The admin menu, if you want to call it like that. I'm going to add sources as well. That whole link, just copying it over. And of course I want uh, an indication on how many pending sources and pending posts there are. So uh, I will have to make some changes because I want to reuse this menu on all relevant pages. But first, of course, I'm doing some front-end fine-tunings. Always the same. And yeah, this is the time where I noticed I was using the home view in my posts controller. But I also thought that I wanted to extract this menu into a dedicated file uh, so that I can easily reuse it. Yeah, you can see I'm, I'm using the wrong file over here, admin posts, that's the right one. Okay. But like I said, I want to reuse that admin menu. And so I will have to make some changes to get that working. I'm going to make an include folder and copy everything over. But of course, I do need those counters like pending posts and pending uh, sources. And I really don't want to uh, do any database calls in my blade file. So uh, I will have to use a view composer in order to do so. Again, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong blade file here. I'm making the same mistake over and over again. But okay, yeah, this is good. Our admin posts blade view doesn't have a uh, pending counter yet and I'm going to add it using a view composer. Yeah, I thought of adding it into the view service provider, but that isn't an available file in application code. So I'll just move it to app service provider and I believe that's the way Laravel uh, says is the right place as well. I was first thinking of only adding this uh, view composer when the user was logged in because that's the only time I'm showing this data. But as you'll see in a minute, that did cause some problems because there isn't a logged in user yet at the time when that app service provider calls the boot method. But that's okay, I'm just going to always add the data, it doesn't really matter. Um, but again, I'm talking from the future here. I'm still writing the code at the moment going to copy over uh, these pending statistics like so that's looking good still have to import posts and sources but as you as you can see it's still not working and that's because of that um that conditional there if odd user and i'm just going to remove it in a minute and be done with it this is a hobby project those are two queries i really don't care about uh, their performance overhead Right now, I might improve it in the future, but you know, MVP, I want to move along. And it looks like it's all working now, so that's nice. I can finally focus back to what I was actually trying to do, and that's uh, building this controller. I'm going to clean up the menu a little bit. Um, maybe, maybe I was a little overexcited when adding it. I'm just going to have the default view here only showing the pending posts because um, now that the views are separated, I can use the, the home view as well as an admin user just to browse my feed, you know? So yeah, I'm going to change that show denied filter to show all. 
And you know, in time, I will probably refactor this to using a live wire component, this filtering stuff, because I don't really like manually managing it in the controller. But again, it's an admin view. Um, it's a little less important when we're talking about an MVP product. So I, I'm still in that phase where I just want to get everything going as quickly as possible. I do want to make sure that being an admin is easy enough because that's of course an important part of the application, but it's not as important as the end user experience. So I'm fine with this. I'm the only admin user right now and it's more than okay for me to have these um, manual query filter thingies. But I will, I will change it in the future. So yeah, I like this page. It only shows the pending posts by default. And I still have to refactor some things, uh, some URLs here. Yeah, I have to redirect to the right controller after doing those actions. And I think this is the time I started to realize I really wanted to group my controllers just a little better because it's getting a little bit too complicated to navigate around a flat directory structure here. Okay, so everything's still working here. That's nice. I think one of the last things uh, I'll still have to do is to update uh, those sources. Ah, there was still a broken link to the home controller. Of course, I'm not in the right in the right file anymore. Home controller over there, like so. Okay, so that filter also works again. And so then it's time to move to that sources page because that's still using some old layout and uh, is missing the admin menu. I'm going to change all of that. Adding a home link here in my admin menu would make sense. Because you know, I'm also using this on mobile and I want the admin experience to be as smooth as possible, just to make sure that I keep using it. You know, that's important. And that's all looking a lot better now. I'm going to uh, just make a new to do and this is an important feature because when uh, adding a new source is going to sync all posts and I don't want to manually publish or deny them and it doesn't really matter because all posts happened in the past and we're you know, making a chronological feed. So I just want a quick way to deny all uh, pending posts, which makes sense when uh, adding new sources. It won't be uh, too difficult a change. Let's just uh, make a query here and loop over the results um, and deny every post. By the way, I uh, really like using enums for state. I think that's a great addition to PHP 8.1. And it's also great that Laravel has built in support for it uh, when it comes to model casts. I'm just going to add a, uh, a mark all posts as denied um, at the very bottom of the page. I'm going to style it a little differently. And of course, I need to run yarn. And here I saw that my, uh, my deploy actually failed because there were some 
updates to JavaScript packages. And I needed to uh, fix those. But that meant going into a little bit of a rabbit hole, a front-end rabbit hole, of course, because my local node version wasn't compatible with an updated package. It probably had something to do with a security release. I remembered I had this, um, this tool installed called N. Just N latest, I believe, yeah, N LTS. We're going to do latest. And now I'm also checking uh, my server version, which actually isn't uh, the same as my local one. And I should probably fix that in the future, but uh, once I discovered that uh, that end tool wasn't uh, installed on my server, I actually just wanted to move along, you know, not going down another rabbit hole and um, focus on the task that I was working on at the moment. And so updating Yarn now locally and uh, deploying all of that. And that means we're almost back to what we actually wanted to do and it was actually deploy these features. And I'm just uh, thinking about doing some last minute changes to styling uh, that button. Also still fixing the link, that was wrong. Which of course I didn't register in my uh, routes file yet. Also, by the way, I'm still doing all these actions with get requests. That's something that also uh, will be fixed in the future when I start using Livewire. Making some final adjustments. And I think that means we're almost done here. And ready to uh, deploy everything to production. And we're done. We're going to uh, check it out. Looks nice. And yeah, you can see there's already uh, more than 3000 posts. I'm going to just uh, mark all of them as denied, uh, which by the way, won't deny everything because Laravel is using a cursor underneath. If I actually wanted to deny all posts at once, I should have used another query method, but this is fine um, because I'm only ever going to deny that many posts at once right now, because in the future I will be able to deny them source by source. Closing some issues and getting ready for the next one. That's in the next video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment, like, subscribe. You know what to do. Until next time.